what can I say? Disgraceful, pathetic, spineless, disgusting, sickening. I've said all those before many times about Arsenal. I mean, you know, not going to make a difference. I've said it so many times. You know, I'm just, I'm sick, I'm fed up. Okay, it's just, like, it's undefensible, inexcusable, shall I say. You can't defend that. You can't defend Arsenal anymore. Just, they don't deserve it. And I'm not going to sit here for 20, 25 minutes ranting and raving. Done it many times before, you know. Because why should I put in effort? Why should I put in time and energy to talk about, you know, a club that I love when they don't put in any effort for me? You know? Why should I get upset and angry to a club that doesn't turn up for a cup final? You know, I said it in my preview yesterday that I won't be angry if Arsenal put in 110% and put in every ounce of effort into that game today, then I won't be angry. You know, we were the underdogs. Manchester City were a far superior team to us. You know, it would be one of those things where I would have just hold my hands up and said, you know what, we tried our best, but we just got beat by quality. But to not even turn up for a cup final, it's criminal. It's indefensible. Right, it's a joke. Arsenal are a joke. Every single one of those players are getting paid, you know, 250. Mesut Ozil is getting paid 300 grand a week and he can't even cross a bloody ball incorrectly. What is he doing? You know, no fucking character, no fucking desire, no fucking leadership. Nothing. There was nothing there. What did they do? What did they even do? Abamyang scoffed any chance that he had. Okay, Xhaka and Ramsey not jogging back and not running to try and keep up with Manchester City's attack. Walking up to the pitch while our third goal goes in. Are you crazy? You know, Mustafi claiming to get himself a foul when he's one-on-one -on -one with Aguero. Aguero just used his strength. Oh, I know. You know, Aguero is the type of player that wants to get to the ball first, more hungrier, and then you try and proclaim that you've been fouled. Pussy. Absolute pussy, Mustafi. You know, what what does Arsene Wenger say to those players before a cup final? Surely to God they know that even though we might not want to win this competition and we don't really care about this competition, we're into the final. I said it in my preview yesterday, I'm not hating on the Carabao Cup. When the Carabao Cup competition started, I didn't care about it. I don't really, you know, if we went out, you know, it's fine. But I said if we get to the semi-final and final, I want to win it. And we got to the final, you know, it would have been, you know, a trophy's a trophy at the end of the day, you know, no matter how well or badly you play throughout the season, everyone remembers in 10, 15 years time, what did you win in terms of trophies, okay? You know, that's the only thing that people think of, okay? And, you know, you're in a final, you know, it'd be great to win it, it might give you momentum and spur you on for the rest of the season, but you can't even do that. You can't even win one game, you know, 90 minutes, and if you put in a good 90 minutes and actually end up winning and becoming champions of the Carabao Cup, it may give you something. It may, you know, perplex you into salvaging what has been an absolutely shit season. But you can't even do that. You know, and what's, what's more annoying and what's more infuriating, right, for me as an Arsenal fan is that we have done it. We can do it. Last season, we beat Manchester City at Wembley when we were the underdog, when no one gave us a hope and health chance. Did it against Chelsea. You know, all the hard work that you put in, in terms of, you know, getting past Doncaster, getting past West Ham, all the hard work we put into beating Chelsea over two legs, for what? What was it for? What was it worth? Absolutely nothing. You know, fair play to Manchester City. Manchester City wasn't even brilliant in that first half. They weren't at their best, right? We were just absolutely awful. And then second half, they stepped up. You know, what did Arsene Wenger say to them at half-time? Because when they came out the second half, they were even fucking worse than they were in the first half. What are they doing? You know, what are they thinking? It's a joke. It's an embarrassment. You're embarrassing me. It's a cup final at the end of the day. Like, just... <sighs> I've got nothing left. I'm sick of constantly Arsenal letting me down and being bottle jobs, being spineless bottle jobs at every given moment. We ask them over and over, time and time again, step up and be counted. You can do it. You do it on one occasion. You can't do it now. What are you thinking? 
What what is Arsene Wenger thinking? Right? Does he think that he can resurrect this club? Arsenal are dead. They're dead. They're gone. That's it. It's game over. It's gone. You know, we get knocked out of the Europa League. That's it. Season's done. I'm just I'm fed up. I'm sickened. I'm done. I'm done. I'm just that's it. I'm done, guys. I can't I can't deal with this anymore. If Arsenal are not going to put in time and effort to the fans that support them through thick and thin rain and snow and everything, you know, then and they're not going to show anything and give anything back to us, then why on earth should we put in time and energy to them? Why? Answer me that. Answer me that. And anyone out there that can still defend Arsenal, wake up. Wake up. You can't defend them anymore. That is it. I want Wenger gone. I want those players gone. I want the ball to go. I want them all just to fuck off. And I'm, I'm done. I'm done.